in this video, we will look at how can we use the regression model to do the point estimation and also the interval estimation. So the question we work on is the older regression model we worked on in the previous video. It is about the relationship between the car sold and the number of the TV ads on uh, TV ads on um, uh, WIC channel 12. So in the question number two, it asks, based on the question number one, based on the regression model, so the manager of the BMW dealer wants to know if three TV ads are run prior to a sale, what he would should expect for a mean number of the cars to be sold. So first, after reading this question, you will be able to identify, we know the value for x. So the x is the number of the TV ads equal to 3. And the question the, uh, the manager is trying to figure out is the value for y, which is the number of the cars sold. So based on the regression model, so we obtained in the previous video, we know the x and the y have a certain relationship. So the number of the ads and the, uh, the TV sold, uh, the car sold have the relationship. So the relationship is represented by our regression model, y hat equal to 10 plus 5 multiplied by x. So the 10 is coming from this cell, which is y intercept, and the 5 is coming from this cell, which is the um, slope. So now, for this question, we know the value for x equal to 3. In order to know the value for y, we just need to plug in. So let's use in the tab called the confidence interval of, of mean. So the value for x we know equal to 3 given the question. And the y hat will be equal to the b value, the y intercept equal to 10. And plus the slope we just got equal to 5. And the multiply by 3 and we got 25. So which means if we have three TV ads based on our regression model, we can predict, we can on average sell 25 cars. So this is for the question number two, and we call this one as the point estimation. So now let's look at question number three, and in this question we are looking for the confidence interval for mean of y. So this question asks, based on the question number two, the point estimation, so the manager of the BMW dealer wants to know if the three TV ads are run prior to a sale, what should he expect for the possible 95% confidence interval for the mean number of the cars to be sold? And so in this case, we are calculating the 95 confidence interval for mean of y. And um, the formula we will use is represented on these slides. So actually, we were using the two steps to finish the calculation of the 95 confidence interval for mean of y. So the step one, we will calculate the estimated standard deviation of the mean of y, or estimated the standard deviation of y hat star. So the formula we're using is represented here. So the s is the standard error, n is the sample size. And x star is the x given from the questions. So in this case, equal to 3. And my, minus x bar, which is a mean of x. And the s square x, uh, s square x. So this whole notation means the sample variance of the x. So all this value will come from Excel output. So let's put all the num all the value for, uh, put all, st all the statistic value in these tables. So first, the S, standard error, so where can we find it? So in order to find this value, you have to get find your regression output. So your standard error is found from here. It's under the regression statistic table, and its name is called a standard error 2.1602. So let's put a link. So first, type in equal, and go back to your regression output and choose this value because we try to avoid make mistakes so we don't type in the value by ourselves. Instead, we choose the value and then push enter. And so you will have exactly the same number on this cell. So the x bar, as I said, x bar here is the mean of x. So where can we find this value? So in order to find this value, you have to review uh, the concept we learned from chapter 3. How can we get the descriptive statistics? So this is a descriptive statistic for x and y. And as we know, we are looking for the mean of x. So the TVX is our x. So the mean of uh, TVX is the x bar. So this is the value we will use for the x bar. So let's go back to this page again. And uh, in this box, we type in the equal sign 
and then go back to the descriptive statistic page and choose the number. As I said, we don't type the, uh, any number in our cell because we try to avoid a unnecessary error. And after you choose this cell and push enter instantly, push enter. So now you have X bar placed in this table. So now the next one is the second, the third statistic in this formula, which is S square X. So as I said, it's, this is the sample variance for X. So we're going to go back to our descriptive statistics. So to find the sample variance for the X. So you will see we are only focusing on TVX because this is X. So the sample variance for X actually is here. So the sample variance equal to 1. So as I said, we try to avoid mistakes. So we type in the equal sign in this cell and then go back to the descriptive, descriptive statistic, choose the same cell, and then push enter. So now you will have the uh, 1 placed in your S square X. So now what we will do is we have every piece uh, we needed for this equation. And we also know the sample size. If you go back to look at the sample size, so the observation tells us the sample size equal to 5. So the sample size equal to 5. And what we're going to do now is we will first calculate the, um, the, the, the component inside this square root. And then we will calculate the, uh, the, the, the component of the, within the square root. And then we'll multiply the standard error with the, this component. We will get our estimated standard deviation of y, s, y hat star. So first, we type in equal sign. So the first one is 1 divided by n. 1 divided by n, as I said, n is sample size equal to 5. And the plus, and the parentheses. And the numerator, so your x star, as I said, it is equal to the x given from the question, so which is here, equal to 3. And the minus, the mean of x, you already have here, so choose this value. And close the parentheses, and don't forget power by 2, because you are, are going to square it. And the divided by parentheses, n minus 1, 5 minus 1 equal to 4, and the multiply by the s square x. So sample variance of x you have here in this cell, through this cell. And I close the parentheses. And then you have down and then click push enter. So the value within the square root equal to 0.45. So now we're going to calculate the value within the square, uh, positive square root. So then in this cell, we type in equal to SQRT, which stands for the positive square root. And the parentheses, choose the one you just calculated. And close the parentheses. So you got 0 0.670820393. And so uh, this whole part is equal to 0 0.67092. However, in order to get the estimated the standard deviation on the mean of y, or you call it estimated standard deviation of s y hat star, you have to use in this part and multiply by the standard error, so which is our final answer here. And you type in equal sign, choosing the SQRT as value, and multiply by the standard error cell, and then push enter. So you got 1.449138. So the estimated standard deviation of the mean of uh, y actually equal to uh, 1.449138. So this is the first step to, fin to get the 95% confidence in the local mean of y. So the second step, and after we calculate the estimate standard deviation, and the estimate standard deviation has to plug in this whole equation in order to get the confidence interval. And so you will find on, in this confidence interval, we need S y hat star. Actually, we already calculated in the first question, the point estimate equal to 25. So we know this value. And for the T statistic, and we will use a formula to do the calculation. And S y hat star, we will just calculate it, which is called estimated standard deviation of mean of y. So first, let's learn how we calculate the y, uh, T statistics. So T alpha divided by 2. So T statistic equal to T inverse. Remember, this is a formula we use, T, I, N, V. So there is no dot between T and I, N, V. So you directly type in T, I, N, V. Parenthesis 0.05, because it's 95% confidence interval. And so the alpha equal to 0.05. So 0.05 common. 
So the second is called the degree freedom. So the degree freedom we are using actually is the degree freedom for the residual. So go back to your Excel. So the degree freedom of residual you will be able to find under the ANOVA table and the second column DF residual. So degree freedom of residual, this is the cell you will choose. And then you close the parentheses and push enter. So this is the t-statistic. You go to 3.18244 So your lower boundary will be equal to the point estimate minus the t-statistic multiplied by the y hat star. And the upper limit equal to the y hat star, the point estimate, plus the t-statistic multiplied by the s y hat star. So let's find our final answer. So in the lower boundary, you type in equal sign and choose the y hat you got in the first question, the point estimate, and uh, minus the t statistics and the multiply by s y hat star. You just calculate it and push enter. So the lower boundary equal to 20.3881916, and upper limit equal to the y hat you just calculated plus the t statistics multiplied by the s y hat star push enter so now the upper limit equal to 29.61180284 so this is the confidence interval so when you write down the answer so the answer should be right down like this so let's only keep two decimal places so the 95 percent confidence interval is between 20.39 to 29.61 cars. So this is the 95 confidence interval for the mean of y. And uh, so uh, the similar idea we can implement to calculate the prediction interval. So the next uh, Excel spreadsheet is a formula we will use to calculate the prediction interval for individual y. So the only difference between these two formula you can find actually is in the estimated standard deviation. So in the confidence intervals, estimated standard deviation of the mean of y, so we in the square root equal to 1 divided by n plus this component. But if you look at the prediction interval, the estimated standard deviation of individual y in the inside the square root. So here actually is 1 plus 1 divided by m. So we have actual 1 in this square root. So the rest of the part will be the same. So we will do it together. So as I said, in this case, uh, the x still equal to 3 based on the question. Because if you look at here, so they asked for uh, uh, the manager, the uh, the car, the manager wants to know if three TV ads, so the x equal to three, are run prior to a sale. What should be the expected uh, possible 95 uh, percent prediction interval for the number of the car to be sold in that week? So the x still equal to three. So the x equal to three. So y hat, as we already discussed, equal to 10 plus five multiplied by three equal to 25, and the s. And we know it before, so S is standard deviation from the regression. So this is uh, this cell under the regression statistics, and the push enter. And X bar is from the descriptive statistic, the mean of X, which is here. And the S, uh, S uh, square X, this is the sample variance of X, and we know it's also coming from the descriptive statistic. So this is here, sample variance. And so now we're going to do the calculation within the square root. So now we have actual 1, 1 plus 1 divided by sample size 5, and a plus parenthesis. And the x star we already given is equal to 3, minus the mean of x we got here. Close the parenthesis, power by 2, divide by uh, parentheses, don't forget parentheses, n minus 1 equal to 5 minus 1 equal to 4, and among that by the s square x sample variance is here, and I close the parentheses and I push enter. So you got 1.045, uh, and then we calculate the, 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 this component with the square root, so which equal to sqrt, the positive square root, and parentheses choose you just, the number you just calculated, and I close the parentheses. 
and we got 1.204159 so this is the value for this component for um, for this component so now in order to get the estimated standard deviation of individual y we have to multiply by this component by the standard error so which is the answer here equal to s multiplied by the, the component we just calculated and we got 2.601282 so this is the estimated standard deviation of individual y so now the same uh, we're gonna in order to find the uh, 95 prediction interval for the individual y so we have to using this formula so y has star we already calculated which is our point estimate and the t statistics we just learned it and equal to tin tin v t inverse parenthesis 0.05 and the second one second entry degree freedom it's a degree freedom for the residual so you're gonna go back to your regression output choose the degree freedom of residual and close the parenthesis push enter and push enter then you will find the lower boundary and it will be able to calculate the lower boundary so the lower boundary is equal to the y hat minus the t statistics multiplied by the s y spread and push enter so you got 16.72 and the upper limit equal to y hat plus t statistics multiplied by the estimated standard deviation of individual y and then push enter so this is 33.28 so now you can write down the answer. So the 95% prediction interval is between 16.72 and uh, 33.28 cars. So this is a prediction interval. So comparing with the confidence interval, uh, 20, 20 to 29. Prediction interval is definitely wider. So that's the video for the point estimate and uh, interval estimation.